At Donald Trump's rally in the Bronx, a vibrant mosaic of people from all ethnic backgrounds, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, black people, white people, came together to show their unwavering support for him. The rally in the Bronx was amazing. You had a very diverse crowd, people from the Bronx, uh, Puerto Ricans, uh, Dominicans, black people, white people, all there supporting President Trump because they've seen the, the disaster that is New York City. They've seen the disaster that has come to the United States of America because of the master of disaster, Joe Biden himself, and they want Donald Trump back. I heard what my colleague said in a previous segment. This is going to be a decision. It's going to be a decision for the American people between two presidents who did the better job, and it is without question Donald Donald Trump was a significantly better president president on every metric. That's why he has support in the Bronx. That's why when the president went to Minnesota, he had support in Minnesota. And, and there's more support in a lot of blue areas uh, that is for President Trump coming back. So we're looking at expanding the political map, not shrinking it based upon race or anything else, because that's what Joy Reid and Joe Biden and the rest of them want to do. They want to shrink the political map based upon previous dogma and racial lines. That is not what President Trump's focus is. His focus is on all of America. Donald Trump's magnetic appeal and his ability to bridge racial divides and opposition to shared political adversaries are often seen in a positive light. His pointed critiques of New York City and his broad denouncements of the Joe Biden administration resonate deeply with many. These remarks are often perceived as echoing the conservative conviction that democratic policies lead to societal decay, reinforcing the belief that a return to Trump's leadership is crucial for the country's progress. Meanwhile, it's anticipated that Joy Reid will passionately defend Byron Donalds against claims that he is merely a token black conservative. Supporters argue that Reid's comments aim to discredit genuine diversity within the Republican Party, emphasizing that Byron Donalds' achievements should be celebrated as individual successes rather than dismissed as tokenism.